Hello, hello. So in the past, I've done some videos uh, with just fancier ways of displaying information. Uh, two of them being uh, just with GUIs with a bunch of buttons. Press the button, performs an action, and drop down context menus. Pretty much doing the exact same thing. So there's a program I've used from time to time that's absolutely amazing. It, it was a bit of a collaboration amongst uh, quite a few people. And it turned out really, really well done. Um, so it's called Radial Menu. And this is version 4. And just to show you what it looks like, um, <clears throat> you're going to press and hold down the right click. And in a movement downwards, it will display. So there we go. So, I mean, it just it looks really cool. It pops up wherever your mouse is. Uh, you know, this is the default that you start with, so you got some items here. They don't actually do anything. Uh, but you also get submenus, so uh, comp control, I can click that. I get another little submenu. You know, I got a power button to shut down. Obviously, I'm not going to uh, press that at the moment. But lots of cool stuff that you can do. So let's kind of take a look at a few of the things and how to really use this and what it can do. So in your tray icon, you're going to right-click. You can kind of see my menu here. It's not fully showing up, but that's okay. Open RM folder. That's just going to open this folder right here, so there's really no need to show you that. The menu designer is by far the coolest thing there is on here, and this is where you design your menu. So as you see, there's those items showing up there, but we also got two more rings that I'm not even using yet. So it can get pretty big. You can add a whole bunch on here. I haven't actually counted how many there are here, but it's a good amount. You should be good, especially since you can make sub-menus. Uh, something to point out is these down here don't actually show up on your menu. They're just kind of placeholders while you're working, if you want to put something down there while you're organizing. Once you uh, close this out, those will disappear. So they're just placeholders, so keep that in mind in case you wanna, you don't want to lose something that you put there. So you can, you know, customize here to add a new item. You're just going to put your mouse over an existing item and hold down the control key and then drag, and it's going to duplicate it for you right there. Let's go ahead and do all three rows. So you're going to get that. But now let's say I, I decide I don't want this. All you got to do is literally drag it off the GUI here, let go, and it's gone. So it's very easy to edit and design however you want. You can move existing items, whatnot. Uh, so you can push save, and as you see, that new item I had is not showing yet. What you have to do is come down to that tray icon again and just push reload. Give it a few seconds there. Yeah, be a little window there. And there we go. There's that new uh, item there. So now, you know, we want an item to actually perform a function. So what you can do is you can right-click, and let me actually show you one that's already doing something let's take a look at one of these there you go so you just right click on it and it'll bring up this little edit box so you got text that's just what's going to display there sounds on off uh, icon if you want to have an icon you can versus having text uh, you know here's an example of some icons here being used with applications you know, let go at the calculator. It's going to open up my calculator for me. And if you do decide to do that, it can just be like a PNG file. And you're just going to go into the folder here to icons and just save it in here. These are, these are the default ones, so it already comes with some basic ones. But you're definitely free to add, you know, as many as you want, custom, or just download it off the internet for sure. Uh, the action, you know, what's it going to do? So... Here you can do a few things. You can put a file path. So if you wanted to actually open a file, let's uh, see if we can find one of those folders. Yeah, so you can say explore and then the path. And that's just going to open up my music folder for me. The other cool thing you can do is you can actually have this run a script, an auto hockey script. So you can put the path to where your script is. Uh, by default, if you want to keep organized, you come in here, you go to internal and codes. And it comes with some auto hockey scripts that perform some basic stuff, you know, shut down, what standby, whatnot. 
So put your script in here, reference it when you right click on an item here. And then when you click on that, it's going to do whatever action is in that script. A uh, good thing to point out too is make sure obviously if you're running the script and you, you want it to kind of just run automatically and do whatever actions built into your code, do not add a hotkey. Because if you do that, it's going to pause and it's going to wait for you to actually, you know, push your hotkey, F1, whatever. So if you want it to just clean run from the moment you let go on that button, do not put a, ho a hotkey in your script or it will mess it up. Uh, you can also view the submenus like I showed you up here. You can add more just by creating the new text document and then pulling it up in here and customizing it. I mean, this thing is really cool. There's a lot you can do. Um, you can mess around with a few things here. There's also another tutorial video and uh, submenus, you know, like that. So yeah, you know, just make sure you push save and then reload to get the new stuff. Uh, the other cool thing is, uh, I think this is the default uh, theme it comes with. There are a few more. So you go to Skin and Profile Changer. So that one I just showed you was called just Cell. Uh, I'll show you another one. I think my favorite is Murloc's Device. You know, what profile do you want to load? Just Main's fine. That's where most of my messing around's at. Yeah, here you go. So this one I think is pretty cool. I like this one a lot. So you can't really hear it, but when I do open this, there is a little bit of a sound bite that plays. When I close, it's kind of like a sound also. You can go to menu control and sounds on and off. You can just turn that off and now it won't do it. Another thing uh, that you can mess around with is in the middle here, it says mods. That's what I put there. Uh, by default, I think it says RM4. If you do want to change that, maybe you just want to have like your name there, you can go into that folder again. And let's see if I remember where this is. Yeah, there we go. So you go into menu definitions. You're going to click on the profile. So we'll do main. And it's somewhere towards the bottom here. Yep, there we go. So where it says central text, just change it to what you want. So I just changed it to say mods um, while I was playing around with it. And as you see, here's where all that data is stored when you right click on one of the uh, center buttons. So you can see like the text here says apps, what it, the tool tip's going to say if you want a tool tip, application. So you could edit from here, but it's definitely easier to do it from that GUI on the editor. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, if there's anything I, you know, kind of miss that you're not getting with it and need help with definitely comment below you know i've played around with this quite a bit so i know it pretty well i don't mess with the code too much because it was done so well and obviously you know to give a little bit of a shout out here to the creators i know it's in here somewhere about so display that for a few seconds so as you see you know you got your main guy, Boris, here, thanks to, and a whole list of uh, people here. And, you know, he has his support email, too, if you guys ever need to reach out to him if I'm unable to answer a question or unavailable. So, yeah, let me know what you guys end up using this for also. Uh, you know, I definitely like seeing what you guys do with stuff that I uh, show off. And uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.